the lord jesus appeared to me and he spoke about the false prophet who's mentioned in revelation chapter 13 yes and then very simply and very clearly he said the present pope francis is the prophet's right false prophet and the pope among many other things the lord said will gather all the major religions of the world and form one world religion hello good evening and welcome back to my channel is your host ukocha happy marcel so this evening we have a discussion in the religion circle all right let's get into the discussion i was born and brought up from a roman catholic church so i had a roman catholic background i understand their beliefs their faith and everything and to be sincere i love most of their practices when i was very little we believed pope as the head of catholic church to be the most closest person to god and we believe that once you even see pope maybe your sin will be forgiven you will go to heaven as the way we took him to be any person that is called a pope we take that person to be like a god on earth anyway as time started passing by just as simple said that when i was a child i think like a child i reason like a child and i behave like a child but when i grow old i put away childish things so when we started going into the word of god we started understanding the way god loved people that god loved each and every one of us personally that god did not love us because we are in this church or because we belong to one denomination or the other now from 2013 there have been series of defamation series of things that i don't understand that is coming out from the vatican city that is coming out from pope francis and one of them is this there was a time Pope told the atheist, that is the people who don't believe in God, who said there is no God, this is my conscience, this is what I believe. Pope told them that you don't need to believe in God to make heaven, to go to heaven. You don't need to believe in God to go to heaven. This is contrary to natural justice and equity. Even people that are in other religion, everybody believe that there is God. Anyone that doesn't believe in God, that doesn't know God, instead of you to preach the sermon, preach the gospel to him or to them, you are telling them that they don't need to believe in God, that they should agree with their conscience that they will make heaven. This is contrary to the word of God. Now, at a time, he also told an audience when he was coming back in a play, they asked him about the case. He said he don't know what to say, that if God loves them, that who is he to judge? And after two years, he made a sentence in 2016. In 2018, he came out also to say that God loves them. Anyway, we know that God loves everybody. But in this year, 2020, he also came and said that these homosexuals, that God loves them, that they should allow them to be integrated into the culture of the church. This is abomination. Pope Francis endorses same-sex marriage. And he also told the atheists that they don't need to believe in God to make heaven. Is that all? No, that is not all. He also said that you don't need to convert anybody. That you just have to leave everybody to go in with their religion. This is most contrary words from a Pope that people believe to be like a God on earth. What the hell is this? The Pope made some comments that basically justified sinful behavior. Robert Mickham's The Vatican Correspondent is still trying to claim the Pope is a conservative. In comments likely to enhance his progressive reputation, Pope Francis has written a long open letter to the founder of La Repubblica newspaper, Eugenio Scalfari, stating that non-believers would be forgiven by God if they follow their consciences. <laughs> Responding to a list of questions published in the paper by Mr. Scalfari, who is not a Roman Catholic, Francis wrote, you asked me if the God of the Christians forgives those who don't believe and who don't seek the faith. 
I start by saying, and this is the fundamental thing, that God's mercy has no limits if you go to him with a sincere and contrite heart. The issue for those who do not believe in God is to obey their conscience. Sin, even for those who have no faith, exists when people disobey their conscience. Robert Mickham's The Vatican Correspondent for the Catholic Journal, The Tablet, said the uh, pontiff's comments were further evidence of his attempt to shake off the Catholic Church's fussy image, reinforced by his extremely conservative predecessor, Benedict XVI. Francis is still a conservative, said Mr. Mickham's. But what this is all about is him seeking to have a more meaningful dialogue with the world. Well, I mean, obviously the, the problem with this statement is that people do follow their conscience, or most people do, instead of uh, following God's absolute truth, such as the Ten Commandments and official Catholic teaching. You know, when you follow your own conscience, uh, people rationalize sin, they deny that what they did was sin, and you really open up the door for the enemy to start playing tricks on you, to start messing with your head. Um, so, you know, you really need to stick to, um, you know, to examine your conscience um, in the fundamental light of God's absolute truth. So there's a video uh, that was made about this. So that's um, well, well worth watching and the links are in the description box. You uh, read the prophecy in Revelation 13. Mm -hmm. And you said you know who that is. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes. And one afternoon, as I was waiting on God, the Lord Jesus appeared to me, and he spoke about the false prophet who's mentioned in Revelation chapter 13. Yes. And then very simply and very clearly he said, the present Pope Francis is the prophesied false prophet. And the Pope, among many other things, the Lord said, will gather all the major religions of the world and form one world religion, which he has begun to do now. So there are historical records to say he called for a gathering of all the major religions in the world, a representative of Hinduism, including the Dalai Lama from Buddhism, every one of them, mm. and, get, and gathered them in the Vatican. And they signed a declaration to form a one world religion. And now they're getting many Pentecostal and charismatic ministers of God mm. to join their bandwagon, to give them the right hand of fellowship. So many Pentecostals, evangelical ministers of God have been going to the Vatican and making peace and having a good relationship with the Pope. So that further cemented what is prophesied about the false prophet.